All right, so right before filming this video, I burnt my lip on a beef pot pie. I don't even know if it's vi visible in the video, but it really hurts to talk. Today, I'm gonna to simplify the process of selecting a spinnerbait color. This is to ensure that you won't continue to waste your money and time. But first, go hit that subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't miss any of my videos in the future. What's your favorite spinnerbait color? Tell me below in the comments. Bass are not colorblind. Studies have shown that they actually see color very similar to us. For that reason, many anglers, including myself, abide by the following rules. In murky water, use brighter colors. These are your chartreuse, orange, red, and other colors that pop. With sufficient light penetration, these colors will be more visible to bass than drab colors, and in turn, will draw more reaction strikes. In clear water, I prefer more natural colors. There are your black, charcoal, and natural greens, and other colors that exist in nature. This makes sense because bass are able to get a much better look in clear water. White is sort of the oddball. I've had success with white in both clear and cloudy water. Spinnerbaits don't always provoke a reaction strike. This is most true in clear water, where they're able to see a bait for longer from a stationary position. I've personally witnessed bass closely follow a spinnerbait before striking or turning away. So with that being said, in clear water, it might be wise to adopt a match the forge approach when possible. For example, if you're fishing clear Lake Michigan shoreline jetties and you happen to observe alewives schooling around the rocks. For those of you who don't know, alewives are like a Great Lakes equivalent to shad. It might be wise to throw a spinnerbait that resembles them, and that would be a spinnerbait with a lot of black, gray, and white. Or instead of alewives, you see schools of emerald shiner. Using a light green and white spinnerbait might be a good idea, and it might just put a few more fish in your boat than the generic clear water approach. If you found this video informative, slam that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Like I've said before, it really helps out the channel. Thank you all for watching, and tight lines.